brethren and uh, companions. Uh, when I started thinking about doing this video, it surprised me to recall that this is actually the fifth New Year's video that I've done as uh, Grand Superintendent. Um, scary where the time goes, but uh, of course it's also the first one I've done uh, since being given the privilege of being appointed as Provincial Grand Master. So <coughs> both a new beginning and a repeat of what some of you have seen before perhaps. Uh, when I originally started to plan doing this <coughs> I thought it would be good to perhaps do it somewhere different and my original thought was that perhaps a beach in North Wales where we do like to spend some time walking on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve might be a good idea but of course the events of this year which I don't need to repeat we're all painfully familiar with have prevented that as an option so here I am on Canic Chase once again but this time in the snow and that's a bit of a, a new feature uh, we've not had much snow over recent years it is however quite busy here on Canic Chase and uh, I may have to stop and pause the video from time to time uh, to uh, acknowledge the other people out for a walk which include my good lady and the dog buttons as always so what has happened in 2020 but of course that won't take very long this year we've not had really many meetings since the very beginning of 2020 and so many events both at large and provincial level all had to be cancelled due to the various Masonic suspensions that have taken place but uh, I'm delighted to note that so many lodges and chapters have kept in touch and indeed over the course of the last five or six weeks every uh, most excellent Zerubbabel and every worshipful master of every chapter and lodge in the province of Warwickshire has been spoken to on a phone call by one of the provincial team and overwhelmingly the response we've had has been positive uh, everybody has been obviously very much looking forward to life returning to normal and our Masonic events continuing as before but had made the best of what was a pretty awful situation where Zoom meetings had become commonplace, quizzes, lots of phone calls and everybody showing a real interest in their fellow brethren and companions and I applaud you all uh, for what you have done to maintain that all-important contact that uh, is so key in these unprecedented times. During that time, and I hope you've been able to see, been able to make some donations to such important charities both at national and at local level. Uh, there was a wonderful two-page spread article in the Birmingham Evening Mail uh, a couple of days before Christmas thanking us for our donation as the province of Warwickshire to the Brumwish campaign which was to provide uh, a Christmas present and goodies for every child living in homeless accommodation uh, in uh, bed and breakfasts and hotels across the Birmingham area and we were able to donate £10,000 to that campaign. What wasn't mentioned is that uh, Amazon also donated £10,000 so we're in the same camp as Amazon and brethren you should be rightfully proud of Warwickshire uh, for that particular statistic. I think we, uh, we deserve a little pat on the back and it's only through your continued generosity to the Warwickshire Masonic Charitable Association and the Warwickshire Royal Arch Benevolent Fund that such donations are possible and I really do thank you for them. Looking forward though, we are making plans for 2021. We all know they could change, that's been the case for uh, the last 12 months and I think we've all got used to it. Uh, today we've heard of the release of the second vaccine so that brings some level of hope. Of course our membership across Freemasonry Warwickshire is aged a sort of an average of about 63-64 so there are many members who are falling in what can be classed as the vulnerable category and for whom the vaccine will not come a moment too soon. So let's hope and pray that that happens and that life can begin to return to some sort of normality. In uh, Freemasonry we are hoping for uh, some return as well. 
and indeed we're already planning for various events that uh, we would like to take place uh, not least of all the provincial grand lodge meeting and uh, the annual convocation of provincial grand chapter the former in may and the latter in july uh, we are planning those we haven't cancelled them uh, we hope that we won't have to and uh, if the provincial grand lodge meeting and the annual convocation can take place i promise you we will make them a spectacular event having had to miss them both this year and so brethren and companions let's look forward with some positivity uh, we are on the brink of a new year uh, we face have faced some awful trials and tribulations not to sound too cliched this year that we all know all too well but let's look forward with positivity let's hope for a return to some normality and that we can resume our masonic meetings and meet our friends and brethren once again and so julie and i and buttons uh, wish you all a very happy and very safe and healthy new year and we look forward to seeing you as soon as is humanly possible. Thank you, brethren and companions. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? Poor old lang syne, my dear, Of all the lengths of.